Five best Chinese stocks to buy and watch. China is the world's most populous nation and second largest economy with a booming urban middle class and amazing entrepreneurial activity. Dozens of Chinese stocks are often among the top performers at any given time across an array of sectors. Uh, China stock investing via ETFs. One way to minimize individual China stock risk is via ETFs. Another advantage of buying ETFs is that a growing number of Chinese companies are listed in Hong Kong or Shanghai instead of or in addition to the US. Crane shares CSI China Internet ETF KWEB tracks major Chinese internet companies. Many Chinese stocks holdings in the KWEB ETFs are US listed or traded such as Alibaba stock, JD.com, Tencent, Pinduoduo and Bilibili but uh, KWEB also holds companies listed on Chinese markets. Direction Daily FTSE China Bull is a three times leverage ETF of the 50 largest companies listed in Hong Kong, including Alibaba, JD.com, and Tencent stock, but its biggest weights are in financials. Now, let's look at the best Chinese stocks to buy and uh, the key ingredients. Focus on the best stocks to buy and watch, not just any Chinese company. IBD's Can Slim Investment System has a proven track record of significantly outperforming the SP 500. Are doing this industry benchmark is key to generating exceptional returns over the long term. Look for companies that have new game-changing products and services. Invest in stocks with uh, recent quarterly and annual earnings growth of at least 25%. Start with companies with strong earning growth, such as uh, being Duo, Pin Duo Duo. If they are not profitable, at least look for rapid revenue growth, as with XBank. The best China stocks should have strong technicals, including superior price performance over time. But we'll be highlighting stocks that are near proper buy points from bullish base or rebound from key levels. Chinese stocks in general are not of favor now, though a few are starting to bounce back. So let's analyze these five stocks, uh, five China stocks, LI Auto Stock, NetEase Stock, BYD Stock, XBank Stock, and JD.com Stock. The first one on our list is uh, LI Auto Stocks or Li Auto Stocks. Li Auto is one of several Chinese electric vehicle ma makers that trade in the U.S. competing with each other and Tesla. The company is flirting with being profitable consistently, at least on an adjusted base. On May 10, Li Auto reported $0.07 cent per ADR adjusted versus a modest loss a year earlier. Revenue leaped 167.5% to $1.51 billion, slightly beaten. But it sees second quarter deliveries of 21,000 to 24,000 from its one current model, the Li One SUV. The Li One is actually a hybrid with a small gasoline engine to extend its range. That uh, would be up 19.5% to 36.6% versus a year earlier, but down from 31,176 in the first quarter. On May 1, Li Auto reported it delivered 4,000. 167 Li One hybrid SUVs, down 62% versus March's 11,034 and 25% below a year earlier. Many suppliers were shut down severely affecting Li's production. The new second quarter forecast implies May to June deliveries will improve but with the lag Q1, uh, still lag Q1 space. Li Auto also forecasts the second quarter revenue of uh, 972.3 million dollars to 1.11 billion dollars, up 22% to 40% versus a year earlier, but far below consensus. Later this year, Li Auto will introduce a larger hybrid SUV, the L9. Shares sold off hard in March to their lowest levels since last May. Li stock rebounded in late March, but then tumbled back below its 50-day line. Li have bounced following Q1 earnings on May 10. The automaker has a dual listing on the Hong Kong exchange. Li stocks has a 73 IBD composite rating out of a best possible 99. The bottom line here is that uh, Li Auto stock is not a buy. The next one on our list is NetEase stock. NetEase is a Chinese mobile gaming giant. It's profitable but growth has been spotty in recent quarters amid a Chinese government crackdown on uh, video games. NetEase earnings surged 303% in the fourth quarter versus a year earlier with revenue growth picking up to 27%. The first quarter earnings are due Tuesday. NetEase stock, like many other Chinese internet, has struggled over the past year. NTES stock peaked at 134.33 in February 2021, but turned to 77.79 last August. Shares rallied to 118.19 on November 22, right as the Nasdaq peaked then dropped back below its 50-day and 200-day lines. Shares hit a 22-month low on March 14, but since then have rebounded. 
She has reclaimed key moving averages in early May, then sold off with the market. Net is a uh, stock is back above its 50 day line. Shares have reclaimed their 200 day line, a key resistance level for the past several months. The RS line for NTES stock is at its best level since November. And the bottom line here is that NTES stock is not a buy as well. Now we are gonna look at the BYD stock. BYD is the biggest pure play Chinese EV maker. It makes electric cars and buses and many hybrids. It's also a major EV battery maker. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is a long-term investor. Notably, BYD is profitable, though capital spending surge in 2021 to power the company's ongoing expansion. BYD reported first quarter net income jumped 241% in local currency terms versus a year earlier. That was in line with a recent forecast for 174% to 300% growth. Revenue rose 63%. On May 3, the automaker reported it sold 106,042 new electric vehicles, up 1% from March's 104,878 and 313% versus a year earlier. Passenger vehicle total 105,475. Of those, BYD sold 57,403 all EVs, but up 256% versus a year earlier. Plug in hybrid sales skyrocketed. 439 percent to 48,072 in April. Hybrid sales have surged thanks to new fuel efficient DMI systems that provide a substantial battery range. As of the end of March, BYD has ended production of its traditional gas powered cars. The automaker is conservatively targeting 1.5 million in sales or up to 2 million if supply constraint ease. BYD Jan largely avoided production hiccups amid China's COVID lockdown helped by its in-house battery and chip operations. However, BYD reportedly suspended production at its uh, Changsha plant in the central Hunan province over environmental concerns. BYD began sealed pre-orders on May 20, saying it received 22,637 pre-orders in the first seven hours. Deliveries will start in a few months. The seal is a Model 3 rival but with longer range, but uh, $10,000 cheaper too. Unlike many Tesla rivals, when BYD launches a new model, it quickly produces in volume. A successful, a successful seal launch could or would not only provide another boost to rapid sales growth, but also could burnish BYD's brand as it expands into a new market or into new markets. Yeah, BYD on April 10 officially launched more advanced hybrid version of its uh, BYD Hand with an electric-only range of uh, up to 150 miles on the China on the China standard. The flagship BYD Hand already comes in an uh, all-electric and an older hybrid form. The all-electric hand also got a substantial upgrade, including a big increase in range. Like uh, Nyon and Xpeng, BYD began selling EVs in Norway in late 2021, starting with the Tank SUV. Toyota reportedly will make a small SUV car for the China market in late 2022 using BYD Blade batteries. It's possible that BYD will play a big role in Toyota's new Super EV push in the coming years. Also, BYD is starting to license its DMI hybrid system to other EV makers. The China EV giant does plan to move upscale significantly. It will unveil a high-end brand in the third quarter and unveil its first model in the fourth quarter, a BYD executive said on May 2022. With prior reports suggesting it could be called Jinxi, which means saw, the brand will target the luxury market of $800,000, that is $119,520, to 1.5 million yuan vehicles. The exec also said, who added that the first model will be an off-road SUV. Stocks plunged to a multi-month low on March 14, but have rebounded powerfully. She has jumped on April 4 back above the 50-day lines. The EV and battery gen has generally held the 50-day lines since then, trading relatively tightly over the past several weeks before a bullish upside reversal in the week ended May 13. BYDDF stock now has a 48% deep cut base going back to November. On May 17, BYD jumped above a mini consolidation within that deep cut base. Shares are moving above the 200 lines. Ideally, BYD would rally further than form a handle within the cut base. The relative strength line is at a 52 week high on a weekly chart, nearly hitting all time levels. BYD is listed, or is, is listed in Hong Kong and trades over the counter in the US, so the BYDDF stock chart is prone to lots of little gaps up and down. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is a long-term investor in BYD and uh, Kathy Wood has been increasing Arx Invest's small stake in recent weeks. Now the bottom line here is that BYD stock is not a buy to but watch 
this emerging leader. The next on our list is uh, X-Bank stock. X-Bank makes the G3 small SUV, the P7 sedan, and the smaller P5 sedan on May, on November, sorry, 12 X-Bank unveiled the G9 SUV, saying it's targeted for international markets. The fast charging SUV is due to launch in Q3 of 2022. The EV maker has now opened P5 reservations in Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands. X-Bank already sells some G3 SUVs and P7 sedans in Norway. X-Bank earnings are due before Monday's open. On May 1, X-Bank reported April deliveries of 9,002 vehicles, down 42% versus um, 15,414 in March as COVID shutdowns affected suppliers hampering supply deliveries. But deliveries did rise 75% versus a year earlier. Now the next one on our list is uh, JD.com stocks. JD.com is a Chinese e-commerce giant. The online retailers re reported better than expected first uh, quarter earnings on May 17 with revenue up 18%. Results largely came before the massive Shanghai COVID shit lockdown. JD.com stocks picked at 108.29 on February 17, 2021 and bottomed at 61.65 on July 25. Shares hit a multi-month high in November but then tumbled until early January. In March, JD.com stocks fell to its worst level since May 2020. JD stocks surged in late March but have fallen back again. JD.com founder Richard on April 7 stepped down as CEO but he still remains the chairman. On May 4, JD.com said it would pay out a special dividend of $1.26 per ADR after signaling the payout in late April. JD.com stock jumped on May 17, moving towards its 50-day line. Shares also fell back the next session. Now, the bottom line for JD.com is that it is not a good buy, too.